Hey guys, this is Lucky Girl B, and I'm doing a how to video. So, today I'm going to show you how to put custom content into your Sims 3 game. Now, when you're putting custom content and mods into your game, you're going to find packages that look something like this. Here you have a dot package file and a Sims 3 package. They have to be put into your game differently since they're two different packages. So, I'm going to show you how to install them both. First, I'm going to show you the easiest one. This is a Sims 3 package. All you got to do is right click on it and open. Now, you're going to wait a bit for your Sims 3 launcher to pop up. Okay, now that your launcher is open, you're just waiting for it to load up. Okay, there we go. Now, right now, your packages are being downloaded into your Sims 3 game, into the Sims 3 download folder. So, it may take a while depending on how many you're doing at once. Right now, I'm only downloading one item, so it shouldn't take that long. If you're doing multiple, it will take longer, but it'll get in there eventually. Now that it's done downloading, it's already done. <laughs> uh, so, now you have it installed in your game. So, right now, it's ready to actually play. I like using Sims 3 packages better than dot packages because once it's installed you can actually see it in your game it has a little picture so if you don't want it you can just delete it but I want this because I think it's cute <laughs> but uh, if you don't like it once you put it in your game you can find it very easily to delete it so it's pretty cool and this is how you would find it inside your game you would go to computer documents electronic arts the sims 3 and then downloads but mind you, it's still in your game even if you were to delete it this way. If you wanted to delete it permanently from your game, you would have to go back to your Sims 3 launcher. You would go to Installed Content, click on the download you don't want any longer, make sure it's checked Highlight, and then click Uninstall. From here, you can also run your game with no custom content in it. But mind you, if you have custom content worlds and anything else, it won't show up in your game and it'll go back to like base game stuff or like, you know, whatever expansion pack you have. So it'll look kind of weird. So now we're going to be talking about putting a dot package into your game. Now for this, you're going to need a special mod folder, which you can get for free from modthesims.com. You just have to be registered to the site. Like I said, it's free and... I get a lot of my mods and custom contents and hair and clothing from this site, so I would suggest joining it anyway. So the name of the folder you need is Framework, and you can get it from here. So just click on Download. And now you just gotta wait for the download to pop up. And then you install this into your computer. Save as, yeah. When I download anything, it goes straight to my download folder. If it goes somewhere different for you, you're going to want to go there so you can install your package. Now, when you get Framework, you're going to need to extract it. And I use WinRAR, which you can also get a free trial for. So, I'm going to show you how to get the free trial. And it's a 40-day trial. And I think at the end of the 40-day trial, they'll ask you to buy it. And you can just say no. And then you can keep extracting your files. And here's where you can download it from. Now when you download it, you're either going to be downloading the 32-bit or you're going to be downloading the 64-bit. You have to choose the right one for your system type. Now maybe you don't know if you're running on a 64-bit or 32-bit. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to figure that one out too. Now this site shows you step by step how you're going to find out what version of Windows you're running on. And I'm going to use it to show you. So as the instructions say, you're going to click on Start, go to Computer, right-click on it and click on Properties. Wait a second. Okay, and now it'll pop up. And as you can see down here, it's telling me right now that I'm running on 64-bit. So it's really simple to do. So I'm going to go back to the 64-bit version and download. I'm going to wait for it to pop up. Okay, here we go, and then just save. Now I'm going to go back to my download folder and install WinRAR. Okay, so now we need to install it. Let that go. Then you just have to hit OK. And there you go, you got your free trial now. 
So now you're going to go back to your download folder and you're going to extract the mod folder from framework by hitting extract. And I'm going to hit extract files here so you can see it. And there you go, there's your mod folder. And when you click on it, you're going to find the override folder and package folders. Now most of your mods are going to go into the package folder unless it says otherwise. And when you go inside, you're going to see the no intro and no building sparkles. And these are mods that come along with it that are, I, I like, so I keep them in there. If you don't want them, you can get rid of them, but they're a great way to test if your thing is working. And you're going to want to cut or copy this into your Sims 3 folder. So you're going to go from Documents to Electronic Arts to The Sims 3. And then you can paste and cut it in there. Now you have your Sims 3 mod folder in your game. And this is the folder that all your Sims 3 dot package files are going to go into. So you're either going to want to cut or copy those into that mods folder in your Sims 3 folder. So you're going to want to come back here, cut or copy that file. I'm going to cut it. Head on back over to Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 3, go into the Mod folder, and then cut or copy it into the Package folder. Here you go, just drop it on in there. Now it's officially in your game. After all that, it's finally in your game, so when you open your game up and play, it should be in there. Even though it seems like a long process, once you start doing it, it's really easy to do and it'll kind of feel like second nature. I mean, at least it does to me. So I really hope this how-to helped you out and if there's any more how-tos you want to see, just let me know in the link below. And if this how-to helped you, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Bye guys and girls!